Alzheimer's impacts half of all black families. HSC is investing in new research to find out why. To join, visit blackalzbrainstudy.com or call 817-735-2963. It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know, and today is Monday, March 15th, 2021. Number one, during the year following the murder of Breonna Taylor by Louisville police, protests had become a way of life in and around that state as well as around the country. Thursday, the Kentucky State Senate passed a bill that could curb free speech by protesters. The bill, introduced by a Republican state senator, would make it a crime to provoke an officer verbally to the point that it could provoke a violent response by the officer. Number two, at least 15 people were shot early Sunday morning on Chicago's South Side, with two deaths reported. Chicago police report they are working to determine a motive in the mass shooting that appears to have occurred at a business location hosting a pop-up party party on a rare warm weekend in Chicago. Investigators are looking at gang-related violence as they described a disturbance among several patrons and gunfire erupting, striking multiple people. Number three, over the weekend, millions of Americans began receiving relief from the latest round of pandemic stimulus payments. The IRS says they will use the latest tax return, either the 2019 return filed last year or the 2020 return, if available, to determine how stimulus payments will be sent. To track your stimulus payment, use the Get My Payment tool on the irs.gov website. Number four, after spending 40 years in prison for crimes he did not commit, a 63-year-old man, a Terry Talley of LaGrange, Georgia, is a free man. With the help of the Georgia Innocence Project and DNA evidence, Mr. Talley has been exonerated after being convicted for the rapes of four white and one black woman that happened over a four-month period in 1981. Talley called his release a blessing while thanking those who helped in his release. Number five, business mogul Jay-Z, along with Twitter and Square CEO Jack Dorsey, have teamed up to create B-Trust, an endowment fund dedicated first to the development of Bitcoin in India and Africa. Cryptocurrency is more commonly used by financial traders in places like the U.S., but countries such as Nigeria, Kenya, and South Africa primarily use it for commerce. The difference opens the gate to financial equity on a continent that has been historically pillaged. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Identify your feelings and learn how to deal with them. Try therapy. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with my man, comedian extraordinaire Griff, co-host of Erica Campbell's Get Up Mornings and our social activist, Coy Malone, as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the University of North Texas Health Science Center at Fort Worth. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.